Well, good afternoon and welcome. Welcome back to Rangers Radio. Old Fox predicted the score. Monable nil. Rangers to join myself on the panel. It's Fox. How we doing, Foxy boy? I'm tip top, mate. Absolutely brilliant display for the boys today. Uh, good 2 nothing win and a great team performance. I think it will have a lot of callers wanting to phone us. So what's the number, mate, if you want to put it out there? The number is 0141-356-1972 and if you use that number, let it ring and we will call you back or you can join us on Skype at rangersradio.online. Okay, mate, there'll be one big talking point for that game. Uh, obviously, the sending off of Alfredo Morelos, which I think was an absolute travesty myself. Uh, but what I will say is the worst challenge, the worst challenge and that whole game was the boy Cole on Kamara in the first five minutes, which could have been a straight red. No deliberate, but still very calm and how high calm could have been a straight red. Did you catch that, Phil? I did, I did, mate. Uh, that was touch and go for me as well. Uh, there was a lot of niggly fouls going on. Uh, Motherwell, because they couldn't match us in skill or endeavour, Proceeded to make it a kicking match for me, mate. And uh, we've we'll been joined by the Nickel Catech Loyal. Uh, Star Dog, first off the rank. How are we doing, Star Dog? What's happening? How happy how happy am I? Big Nico. That's how he's in the team. That's what he brings to us. Dangerous in the box always. And I'll tell you what, the way he's got up to the fans and things like that, and the way he's going with Ryan Jack after the game, he's loving his time here, so he is. I just hope he can remain in the team, mate, for as long as possible. I, I think, man, what I will say is, mate, what you, you, if you watch that closely today, it's hard for a boy. He ain't left footed, mate. Yep, I yeah, agree. Yeah. I, I agree. And, and I would like to see him and Herlander play together. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's that's where I would go with that in Teox. I think we spoke about it during the week, mate. But, you know, he really is a solid, solid guy, mate. And I think, like you say, you put him in the right position and he's only going to get better. Aye. Well, we've been joined by our centre-half expert. <laughs> man came on, and joined man. us. How are we doing, mate? All right, happy, pal. Happy. Oh, very, very happy. Very happy. So that's you. Really, really sleep. happy. I think that was it. Two a, sleeps to the next game. I, I, well, it'll be six sleeps, won't it? Because it's well, on a Friday, isn't it? Two for you. Huh? Two sleeps for you. Oh, two <laughs> sleeps for me. Yeah. Happy. But uh, oh, over the moon, over the moon. And I was following for what you were saying there about the the bad tackles. Uh, and yes, uh, Cole, the boy Cole, that could have been easily been a red card, no problem at all. I don't and think that, it was deliberate, uh, but that doesn't matter, Bridge. Uh, yeah. Correct, correct. And and the, the, the Liam Donnelly one on uh, on Morelos, that was a red card, hundred percent red card. Studs up, right into the leg. No problem. Right, Cab. Yeah, and he got away with it. He got away with a lot, that boy, that boy Donnelly. He got away with a lot. Dutchie in the lobby saying just before Morello scored, they get hit with a coin with the Marble fans. But I'm Correct. Sure, I'm sure the media will not pick up on that. Um, yeah. That section of that ground should be shown down. But well, that's, that's where the, is that where the well boys, is it the well yeah, boys you, you call them? You wouldn't know if it was shut you down. You know something? Or, that's true. But that's it wasn't a time. No. no. Oh. Sorry, they'll probably not have caught the monkey chance either he was getting. Right, I never picked up any of them, mate. I never Disgusting. Up. Right, well, I hope so. I hope somebody calls them out on that, you know. Anyway, we'll be joined by a caller. Evening, uh, afternoon caller. Hi, it's uh, Darren again here. How are we so doing, Darren? This week, how are you doing? Hey, uh, the game was amazing. I thought we deserved the win today. Uh, I thought Big Catchwitz deserved his goal. He should have, he should have been in, as I said, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I would have started him uh, in the old firm game. Uh, I thought he was outstanding today. Uh, I wouldn't give him the man of the match, mind you. Yeah, I feel he's man of the match. I thought, right. I thought I th- if I'm being really honest, mate, I thought the man of the match was in the opposition team and it was their goalie. Uh, he had a good game today. He made a good couple of saves in there. Uh, right. But I still, I think we were outstanding today, especially when we went down the ten men. And I actually felt sorry for Fredo getting a red a yellow card. I agree. So, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm sure Scott Brown done the exact same thing and didn't even get booked for a celebration. I'm sure he done that in front of the Rangers fans. I've got the photograph to prove it, mate. I've got the photograph to prove it. Didn't he, didn't he get a booking or nothing? So you ask yourself. 
how is that a booking? But Scott Williams isn't a booking. You know what I mean? It's like Scottish refs are against Rangers, and so is the SFA, and everything else is all against Rangers. What, what, I will say, what I will say, and okay. I'm not having a go to Fredo here, I thought he was excellent the day, made a lot of his chances himself. He just goes to your support, stands in the touchline, celebrates, he doesn't get himself in that situation. But that's easy for me to say. That's easy for me to say. I think it was flush, frustration, that's probably what it was. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe you're right. Especially Darren. that penalty, we should have got a penalty day as well, we didn't you get, get it. You get flattened there. We've also been joined by JFK. Afternoon, JFK. All right, Paul, how are you doing? Hi, mate. Uh, pleased with the three points. Clean sheet. Yep, a lot please. of positives, but obviously... The, the big, big negative is silly, silly, silly Alfredo. What did he go and do that for? He deserved to go out sent off. I don't care what MD says. He should, I know there was people throwing stuff, and then, well, look, two rights don't make a wrong, or what vice versa, or two wrongs don't make a right. And we know Brun done it before, but Alfredo's look. If he no, you heard what um, uh, Boyd said at the you know when uh, for Alfredo time. was at half time. You know if that wasn't Alfredo, we wouldn't be bothering about it. So we all know what happens. He's he's out there to be to be shot down. So uh, it's take the shine off the win for me because they should have known uh, better. No to do that. We we can condone people throwing coins and whatever, but it should have been better than that. Should have went to our own fans, celebrated and walked away. Um, this is what I'm talking about. We need a third striker. We're new left with Jermaine Defoe. Um, let's take the shine after the result for me. Good three points, because they were never, never even going to get a lick at it against us today. All right, mate. All right, mate. We'll be joined by Cairo. Cairo, uh, character, seen it again. Cajonas, difficult park. <laughs> Pitch was difficult. Uh, yep, and we, I think we hopefully turned a corner with that. I hope the wee sign there that we, even in the face of adversity, we can get our noises in front. Hopefully we keep going. Now, totally, totally disagree with what we said uh, just previous to me there. And a young lad, he scored, he's getting vilified, he gets booted up and down the place, he gets no protection for referees. Everything he does is scrutinised. Everything he does is fucking highlighted. That Andy Walker, man, I was listening to the, the, the radio, the, uh, the, the commentary there. There were one tackle where um, a rebo, the guy comes in late, catches him in the ankle. On the ankle. And, and on it, the was, ankle. It, yeah. it was nothing. Did he get a yellow card? Darren, guy came in. Darren, just hold it and Sorry. I'll come to you, mate. There another guy comes in and it was late and he says, oh, nothing. Oh, it was Achilles. It was a rebo. I think it was Achilles. A, um, no, it was Kamara was the first one. It was Aribo the second one. Right down his Achilles. Oh, it was an accident. Caught him in the Achilles. Nothing to see here. And then you got a tackle that was innocuous by Morelis. And then the other guy, Giza, the guy that he tackled, Giza Fels, Andy Walker. I think he was angry there. And you can see why. Morelis goes in late over the top of the ball. Well, if the ball's no near, how can you go over the top of the ball? I mean, it's ludicrous. And then we get a Rain Ranger supporter saying Morelis was daft for going and doing that. I think it's absolutely outrageous that he gets sent how, off there. How, how can uh, you uh, say it's uh, daft? Uh, 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 there's other people on the call, just bounce your time, GFK. And you come, Daz? Hey, I, hey, as I was saying, like, obviously the guy was talking previously, I was saying about the Rebels challenge. That should have been a stone, a stone old rally card and everything. I mean, the referee had a bad game for myself today. I thought it... I thought it was absolutely shocking. I mean, and it's every week. This, this guy's dealt, I think he's dealt at the start of the game, he said he's dealt with like eight, the best five card. cards. Are they cards? Yeah, exactly. If you put him in a game like that, then you know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? There's another one to top his game off. The worst referee in Scottish football, if you're, if you're going to dish out that many I, cards in one game. I'm going to say that's mean. some compliment, that is. <laughs> <laughs> and you come, GFK. I don't know if Kyra was talking about myself. I don't know how you, I mean, he deserved to get sent off because he shouldn't have done something as stupid as that. He should realise that everything he does is scrutinised. So he deserved to go I'm, 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 I'm in the. I'm going to go to Fox where I see the voice of reason, but I'm in the Cairo camp, mate. There would be players getting sent off every week for celebrating goals. On you go, Fox. I've got to agree with the Cairo point, mate. There's only one man in Scotland that gets the scrutiny that Alfredo Morello gets, and it's him, mate. Absolutely shocking for a young man to celebrate the abuse he took all the way through that game. And he, he may have made a gesture, but I can remember Neil Lennon doing it at Ibrox to us. 
and uh, it was never done. He went to cup his ears and get his evacuate right. in the main stand. But he never he he was cleared for that. So why should uh, Alfredo Morales get a uh, a yellow card that That's sends three, him off to me? Three players. Three players I know in Scotland have been sent out. Andy Halliday, Candias, and Alfredo Morelis. Correct. The fans. Start you're, not, start you're not letting me finish, you're not letting me finish in, my point. Start, you'll come in in a minute, JFK. Star Dog's patiently waiting there. Star Dog, three players sent off um, for celebrating. Um, it's not even that for me, Oxley. I'll just take you back to the last Sunday, mate. The, all the chances he missed. The boy's been getting laughed at and victimised and noised up all week. You know what I mean? He went and go to set a goal deal during the week and then he got noised up again. Some of the challenges I know on him today were absolutely disgusting. And how is he not allowed to give you a bit back, mate? You know, I remember Chris Boyd doing it against Aberdeen last year with Comarnock, so I don't even know what Chris Boyd's talking about, to be honest with you. Mm. Is he not allowed to give you a bit back? You know, we, we mentioned his age often enough. He's 23 year old, he's still a young boy. He gets picked on, mate. I'll go as far as saying that. He gets picked on fair enough every single set of fans in Scottish football when we, when we play at their stadiums. Uh, the abuse he takes, there was monkey gestures and everything getting made at him the day, there was things getting thrown at him, he got to sell a goal, how's he not allowed to get a bit back? He wasn't even really off the pitch, it's not as if he ran right into the Motherwell fans, he was still basically on the pitch. So I'm in the Cairo camp at all, mate, I think it's disgusting the way he gets treated, I agree to, with, to a certain point with Jimmy, he doesn't help his sell, but I think you're allowed to get a bit back, mate, you know what I mean, for everything yeah. he took all week, not just that game there, all week, mate, for that final all the, all the memes that have been put up about him and how he can't he score and all he wants for Christmas is a goal against Celtic. He deserves to know his fans up, mate. You've got to be able to give a bit back. That's what that was meant to be all about. Uh, Bridgeman and then GFK. Can I just say that uh, I, I think that where, where he went to, the crowd he went to, was that no them that were throwing the pie at, uh, at uh, Tavernier? Tavernier, right. Man. So, look, I just think what Jimmy said is absolutely right. We know, we should know, our players should know, you don't do these gestures to the crowds. You shouldn't do it to the crowds. But the truth of the matter is, <clears throat> I don't know how close he was. I'll wait until the BBC report comes out and they tell us, they'll tell us to the minute and to the inch where he was and how, how disgraceful it was and he should have been sin died or that crap. I don't think he should have been sent off. I don't think he should have been worth a re- Wasn't he worthy of a relic? Certainly, it would have been worthy of a, a check. Hey, come here, you. Uh, don't you do that again, or otherwise you will be off. Because I don't even know if he understands what he's doing, right? Put it that way. However, for me... Oh, by the way, his, was, English look, his English looked pretty good when he was arguing with the referee about aye. it. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, is there? <laughs> Can I come in there? I I mean, go. It's as if I'm, I'm, I'm on here to vilify Alfredo, but he's you know, some of these are jumping in. Well, well uh, Bridgeman said it is exactly what I was going to say. Like, I mean, it's not as if I'm vilifying, but he should know better because he's got the scrutiny on him. I wish he'd have had a penalty, the boy barged right through him and Cartage. I, the boy Donnelly, should have been sent off. I, Declan Gallagher, should have been sent off. I'm not, no, but the fact is, is that Alfredo's been doing so well. He should realise, look, when you hear the rubbish commentary about him, you know, he should, he should be booked for that. He's, he's lucky to get away with this. And the manager's obviously taking them aside. But goodness sake, he should know he shouldn't be making a gesture like that. You know, we know, he, he can't be saying that because other players have done it that Alfredo shouldn't be getting punished. No, the referees are, are looking to get him for every tick and turn, we know that. But it was a silly, silly, silly booking. The first booking wasn't he a booking, he went for the blooming ball. So if we I don't get even booked, know if he touched the player. I'd well, exactly, he went for the ball. I mean, and but the second booking was a booking. Because it was it be deemed as inflammatory, Jess. So. Jimmy, the, the, it's already been deemed not to be inflammatory by the SFA when it was raised about it before when the, Neil Lennon did it in front of the Rangers fans. Right. The SFA had I said know that. it wasn't inflammatory. Well, why is it inflammatory for us? No inflammatory. For well, them. well, that's something. That's the yeah, but that's not the point I'm making, Cairo. That, I know, that's the, I know the point you're making, Jimmy. The, the and point I, is, I just, you, sh- you shouldn't. I hundred percent agree with you. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. And Rangers should make a point of asking these questions. But surely Alfredo should have realised. Every week, it's not deemed as offensive. Week. That's like saying somebody twenty year ago did something and it was offensive. So he should know no better, no better, not to do it. You can't. If it was deemed as not an offensive gesture, then why is it 
a yellow card today. The guy was getting monkey gestures. He was getting things thrown at him. Oh, he aye. was getting abuse hurled at him. Yeah, he goes up and he does a gesture that has been already been deemed by the SFA, not to be inflammatory, and he gets a yellow card for it. He never left the field to play. He never took no, his No, I understand off. that. Well, why, why if it's no inflammatory? No, I, I totally fun. agree, but my, my, my argument is that he shouldn't have done it in the first place because he, know, he should know himself that, he, that he's, he's getting scrutinised all the time. I will, I will give you that one, JFK, that when I coach kids and you try to tell them, don't, particularly your defenders, don't give the referee a decision to make. And Bridgman will know what I'm talking about because then yeah. you're in the hands of the God. But in the exactly. heat of the battle with the, the it, adrenaline... That's like saying if somebody breaks, a wind, somebody breaks a windy... And it's not a capital offence. Somebody then breaks a window and gets hung for it. That's what it's you like because it. it's already been deemed. It's already been deemed not be offensive. Neil Lennon, it was but deemed what, when Neil Lennon did it. That what wasn't I an offensive. Is, if you watch games up and down the land, every Absolutely. game, all we're looking for is consistency and fairness. There'll no be another player booked in a similar situation to that every week. I mean, Nandy so Halley, Halley, Halley. Halley. Sorry, on you go. On you go, Darren. Uh, it was JFK. I always understand. Uh, obviously, you should know better, I'm not to do it, right? But if you turn to him, you say that it was Celtic playing the day, and if Scotland scored and went up to the fans, but Diego booking for I doubt it. I doubt it very much. I think. I don't. I, 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 don't I don't really care. Anyway. I don't really care you know what, what I mean? Scott Brown does. I don't. I, I doesn't interest me in the slightest. I'm all interested about Rangers. That all I'm saying is, I realise that Alfredo's get scrutinised, and I just think that. I know he's hot he did that he maybe should have thought better of his actions because it's it just gives them an out to send them off. <laughs> yeah, I hope Jimmy, your wife's, I I hope your wife's listening you. to GFK. Oh, no, Jimmy, it's not you. Uh, Jimmy, if, if, <laughs> if Morellas had went the same way as it was a, a couple of games last season where he didn't get decisions and he went all petulant, his lip fell down and he started kicking out and all that kind of thing because he felt everything was against him. Would you have been happier then if he's walking about scoring goals with a petted lip mirror or that type of thing? That's what you that's what you get with him. You get the full boon away with him. You get no, the full I under- thing. understand and that, Cairo. So you've got to give this lad a bit of slack. As far as no. I'm concerned, they've done absolutely nothing wrong. The gesture isn't a good gesture, but it's already been said that it's no inflammatory no, in, that, well, in that situation. I'm not arguing that point. I, I, I totally agree with that point. He, he should have known better, no idea. That's what I'm saying. After all the good work that the gaffer's done, but in Jermaine Defoe, all accounts, I've taken them aside and to, got his temperament 100% better than it was last season. But, I mean, to get sent off for that, for me, was, was silliness on his part. See, I would he's, have been, getting I'd a, he's getting a referee and out there. Well, I'd give, you, I'd give you a better argument then, Jimmy. You shouldn't have got booked the first time for that. No, exactly. And nothing. So, there it should just have been a yellow care then. I mean, yep. I, 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 could, I could argue, all, could argue all day about it. I mean, I just think yeah. that we shouldn't be polarising the guy for it. I think the guy's been, all week has been hammered. He's got the fans there with them monkeying it. I mean, their fans were harassing him like blazes. And, okay, he's getting paid money for it, accept that. But, He's getting booted up and down the place as well. He's not getting any protection for referees. He's getting the full thing. If I was him and on, I scored the goal, I'd be going, there you go, pal. And don't tell me you never done that if you played for it yourself. You scored the goal or you heeded some off the line or something. Then he, he scored many goals. I scored a load of goals and I used to do that. Yeah, then you're in net, though, bridge man. You didn't need me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can, I, can I just say something? Ask you something. Uh, do you think Rangers then will appeal the yellow card? Oh, obviously, the, the challenge. You, you, you need to get it's two yellows in it. It's two yellows, right. and I'm not sure if you can appeal two yellows. Uh, Fox? No, you can't appeal two yellows. Oh, sorry, that's popped in. What's your language, Darren? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I think I came on in front there now. I don't know about a swell in the zone, folks. I didn't mean it. But it's a good case for the compliance officer to look at, eh? <laughs> Aye. Uh, I think, think they should exactly be a concern. Only the football, no like the football guys. That, do you think that um, should be a concern watching Alan McGregor come off at the final whistle? He looked as if he was plodding through mud. His groin went when he looked. Aye, he looked like it. Groin went. What I couldn't understand with that is when we still put on Greg Stewart. Oh, no, it was only two minutes to go or something. Uh, if McGregor was going to get hurt or something, you'd have had to put a goal in. But obviously, the game was is dying yeah. in its backside. Maybe, Stuart, maybe Stuart's played in goals at five or six. Uh, maybe he's good mm-hmm. in goal. 
maybe he's good in goal. I don't know. I don't know, Jimmy. It was worth talking about the third, but I think you're right. We're going to be a player doing next next week or the next game against. Ah, we're just going to rest them. It's just been rotation. They'll be fresh for the Comana on the Celtic game. You always be playing your best team. Aye, uh, but we've got we've got a good player. To play in, you know what I mean. Uh, and with McGregor, you've maybe the chance of the same again. So that's your that's the that's the tap and bolt with your spine, with your team that may not be playing next week. Ah, I can hear that. I don't know who's joined us. I'm not sure if it's Darren again. Is that you, Darren? No, it's George. It's George VK, mate. How are we doing, George? Oh, I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy. And I'm the show in the background. Turn the show off, George. The show is off. Right, carry on. I was saying, yeah, I'm, I'm saying I'm happy, but I'm 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 absolutely seething enough. Go on then. I just I just can't believe it, man. I think they were just there to kick us all, all, all over the park. I mean, there's tackles you're in there that was going to break guys' legs. You know what I'm talking about. And the, the referee stone there, no day nothing. They were two Stonewall penalties. You know? The second one was Fredo Morelos, man. And, and rugby, man, that's a sin, man, offence. I've got a gear at. I didn't think the handball was a penalty, but I thought the other one was a stone wall. Uh, the, the second one was a stone wall, or not I mean. And I swear to God, I said, if we appeal that to that division, man, there is normal as a bottle of chaps to get no chance. Are you happy with the result? Aye, I'm happy with the result. And I, I, Greg Stewart come out at the end. I was lost for that one, you know what I mean? Uh, well, you know what I mean? Well, well, at, least, well, at, least you'll get, at least you'll get a couple of games now. He might, he might. We've also been joined by Jim Fee Paisley. How are we doing, Jim? Good hey, man, you guys. All right, you mate, you better you. hurry up. Nearly I'll 10 minutes, I'll try it for a walk. Destroy it, destroy <laughs> with you. Destroy with you, Jim. Uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, uh, before the game, I said I'll be back later on yesterday. I was looking, I was looking at him in the kitchen this morning, expecting somebody to follow me, but he was away. But I saw the day. We went there the other day. It was going to be a difficult place to go. I think we came in with a result. And I'm, I'm over the minute, actually. That's the main thing, Jim, the oh, three man, points. Man. I mean, obviously, the sending after a big talking point, but Cairo, you were looking to show Aye. some cojones, Aye. and they done it, Cairo, eh? Well, they did, and it's, it's a matter of repeating that now because that was always the thing, you know. If they did the day today, I'd be really, really concerned with Canada. Day. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really chuffed with that. I mean, they did they did come through at half time, I think, and half. You seen the guy having a go at Jack, and I think it was Golson that came out and kind of oh, pushed away in and out a couple of players. So that's that shows you that they're at least looking after each other. I know the attention was on Morelis, but it was, I was looking at the guy who was pushing Jack, you know. So, yeah, I think uh, I'm hoping that's how it's turned, you know, burst that ceiling. You know, Oxjer, and we go going and we don't jib the next game and get a stupid result next week. Like, you know, that's what we, that, if, if they do that and do the next couple of games. Then I'll say right, that's us. We're 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 through that, and we might lose another couple of games later on. But that's that's the way the league goes. It's no at a time when we could go, and this time we could have went on, and we have went on. So we got the the, the three points. So to me, that's it's shown we can go ahead, and that's that's the main thing. So I'm 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 early in with that. Just a wee quickie in the 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 lobby there. There are, there are a couple of bears in at the. And at the hospital with I'll read that you know, Cairo, I'll deal with that at the end of the Okay show. then, son, that's good. I just I, I was I, we had scrolling up walks, I couldn't see what it, it was like, you know, I didn't want to miss it. But I um so I'm out of the moon. I think hopefully that's that's there and that's good and we get there. Um ah out of the moon, out of the moon. Uh, Bridgeman, three points, played well. I feel though was I thought were best player. Uh him and Barisic I thought were good. Fox enjoyed our field in Aribo. Uh, Jack and Kamara were steady. Uh, <coughs> Katic, Katic showed pluses. Tav was steady. Golson okay. Um, I'm just there's, there's somebody's decision making a question. Yeah. Uh, Kent Kent looks void of confidence to me. He needs something to happen for him. Just to oh, give yeah. his confidence. Oh, okay, let me in here, Johnny. No, oh, just yeah. let Bridgeman come in. Let Bridgeman come in, mate. All right, cool, cool. I think everything you said there's, you know, you could you could repeat it. Ad, 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 ad for an item. Our Rangers players, every one of them were good today. I've got no problems with any of our players. Okay, you can go into the wee detail and you'll find one was better than the other. I thought myself, like Fox did, I thought Arriba played another marvellous game. I thought overall, I thought, I agree with you, with, with my Alfredo Morelos, he absolutely leathered them today again. 
Their goalkeeper, their goalkeeper, best man in the park for them. Best man in the park. It must have made about five or six blocks, six <laughs> blocks or straight of saves. Not just for El Credo, but from other, or, or other players. And I'll tell you what, that's to me, that showed what, what Akira's looking for in bottle. And we brought, we brought substitutes on, and they were great. Do you know that we had three, three, red, three yellow cards, and one of them was a, another yellow card from Mor- Morelos, and they had three cards, three yellow cards. And we've been sitting talking for probably best part of half an hour, and we've not done nothing but moan about them. Are the as is the rest of the world not seeing these teams kicking Rangers and blocking them? Right. And ah, never mind. I'll let, I'll let you go to the next guy. Okay. All right, okay, you calm down, mate. Take one. Yeah. Have, have another drink. Have a half. Uh, Jim Bob, you were about to come in there, mate. I was. Well, I was going to say the thing I think we discussed this a little bit there about the. McKen rule one side left or whatever position he was playing the day. I, don't, I think he was very unafraid. I've been seeing this since this middle of the part inside. Like, I can't even do that. I thought he was really unafraid in the first half that position Ryan Ken was playing the day. I don't know when they, when they watched that. There's too many, there's too many legs there. when he's in there, mate, when you're a dribbler. So, I, 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 that's, that's what I think, too. Oh. He was getting out of trouble and I, uh, you know. Maybe it's maybe it's the manager's instruction so that Barisic overlaps instead of. Ah, that's what that's what that's what I know that's what it is, but you uh, must have had that plan for me, Dave. That job. Mm-hmm. The, the yeah, they start dog and get to the catties, Joe. Aye, and he comes start dog. Kent, any thoughts, mate? Ah, uh, he, he, he's just he looks kind of dry to me, mate. I don't know if it's confidence or I'll just have nothing's happening for him. I don't know. So, I mean, sometimes his final balls lacking as well, mate. It was it was a couple of times a day. Just it just doesn't look himself, mate. But the one thing I do like about him is he doesn't ever hide away. He always does show for the ball, mate. Very much the same as Alfredo Morelos. You know, and a couple of chances he missed again the day. But the guy just doesn't stop, mate, until he gets his goal. Uh, Kent never hides away, mate. I believe his form will come back around. I don't know what's happened. I don't know whether it's just a disappointment of playing that well last week and not getting near the line. I don't know, mate. You know, but I'm I'm hoping he does get back to form because we did need all the uh, Ryan Kent to be performing, especially now we're going to be missing Alfie next week. We're going to need these these boys behind Alfie and beside Alfie to step up now when we when we play the spin burners as Jimmy calls them during the week. So it's time for folk to step up, mate. But you know, I actually thought it was an earned massive performance for Ryan Jack again today. I just think the boy just keeps getting better, mate. I really do. I think he's just solid in there. He's he's one of the hardest workers I've ever seen playing in the middle of the park for us, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. What he does, mate, I would like to see the yards that he covers in a game, mate. Oh, aye, aye. I bet you he doubles every these yards for the, for the season so far. And they bother the last time I seen Is that honestly? Cover, the last time I seen somebody cover so many yards it was me last week because I kept having to go to the bar for thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's one of the hardest workers I've seen in the midfield, mate, for a long time. And you come, George, uh, your views on Kent, mate. I, I, I think the seven, see, 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 see a seven, mil, seven million pound price tag. I think that's 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 that's, that's too much for him. I mean, it's, too, it's in the goal for us, it's, it's too much pressure for him. He's trying too hard. Trying too hard. He, 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 he's got to the ability. We all, know, we, all know, we all know he's got the ability, man. Know what I mean, but he's just he's just trying that bit too hard. And he was going out wide when I was like, man, why is he not you know, just coming in and trying shooting? Like he done against Hamilton. Aye, aye, exact same. Mm-hmm. That's a fair shout. Well, I mean, JFK. Well, I did say the day, didn't I? Uh, the pre-show and that, I mean, he's, he's, he's no gave us a decent performance last three games. Um, mm. Fell away, and uh, I did say about the seven million pound as well. But he's got to rise above that, you know. Um, poor show in the day. Uh, the big plus for me was was Katic again. I thought he was oh, immense. Right. No, just a goal, but. Uh, I like to see a defender coming through the back and another defender the way he does and, and then challenge for the ball and header the ball and he's got a good distance for his header. Goldson for me, I'm hoping that his days are numbered and I'm hoping that Edmondson and that gets a chance because... He seems to be the first name in the team sheet. Ah, day. he does. Yeah. Oxier, you know, the gaffer seems to want him there all the time. Uh, he, but, must, he, he trusts him. The manager seems to trust him. Uh, a couple you know. of times there, the, oh, he just, he just looked at a place, you know, so... Um, uh, on was an upburst to Friday night one, against the Spoon there was, Burners. There was one at the touchline. He tried to let it grow, go. Uh, I think I don't. I think we saw it. It was one nothing at the time. Put us under a bit of pressure, but that can happen to anybody. 
Uh, Fox. Um, I, I Alan, thought... uh, Alan McGregor. Um, Alan McGregor. Say, Aye. Look, guys, it's, it's very easy to pick out individual wee mistakes that players make. And I'll include Ryan Kent in this. That was a great team for performance today. And uh, of course there's mistakes made and people only 100% on the ball, but as a group and a unit, we were terrific today. Yeah, yeah. Can I come in, Ox, yeah? On you go then, Bridge. No, it's just amazing how many times I agree with Foxy in, in reality. Overall, after about a 2 0 a 2 0 get victory, and we were down to ten men during it. Irrespective of what happened, we ended up down to ten men, and I thought we played absolutely brilliant. I thought our defence held out a far better than it did against uh, against the the, the the young boys team. Uh, and I thought I thought we were great. And I'm not being funny when I say it. I thought we were great. Aye, Every well single said, player aye. done their turn. Well said, well said. From goalkeeper right out, and I think. Somebody mentioned the goalkeeper situation. I think he's done a groin, is he? He's done his groin or something? So well, let's hope it's only, it's only light. Yeah, I'm sure Alan will be the first uh, groin rub he's ever had, you know? Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> he's no called that for nothing, is he? <laughs> Stardog, Stardog, was it only was it only me that did the pitch that Bob bobbled and the, when you try to run me? Did you... Did, Aye, I noticed it as well, mate. I think the ball was bobbling uh, a lot, a lot of the day, and the players sometimes the, the players sometimes look stuck in the mud for me, mate. The players just couldn't get moving on the pitch, right? I noticed that a couple of times, mate. Aye, and, and uh, when McGregor's clearance, I think his foot actually got stuck in the grass as well. See when he cleared it when he went to feel his groin. See when he cleared the ball for his goal kick. I think that's where he got in trouble for as well. I think he's maybe hit the tough as well. But I the pitch wasn't the best today, but it never has been the best first part, cause it really. <coughs> no, 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 it's usually heavy on that at this time of the year, right. obviously. Uh, it's a good nick for Fur Park for this time of the year. Listen, uh, is it, uh, it Stones for tapping the league, league Cairo? That was something that concerned you when you talked about the Jib and Doug game. But the yep. big game now is Easter Road. It is, aye. It's, uh, I, I'm, I'm not worried about them. It's us I, I was concerned about. They've, they've, they've shown they can score in the 96th minute. We need to do that and all, and we need to. Stop teams from scoring against us in the last 10 minutes. And that's the bit that concerned me. And the day <coughs> we did that half time, I thought was, I felt a wee bit different when I seen them going after. I seen two or three players running to help Jack. Um, so for me, maybe we have turned it. I'll take the next couple of games because we need to stay there, which is fine. And if we go through and we're in the, the league and we did drop a point, that's not because we've just got there and we're, you know, that's, that's because it's the way it happens at times. But this consistent, um, this consistent getting there and then stopping, getting there and stopping. That's what was concerned me. And we went beyond that today. So that's a wee, that's a wee uh, green shoot there, if you like to say that. But um, we'll see how it goes. I, I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed to the guys. I think it's a, I think it's a brilliant feeling to have this feeling when you're, you're back. You think, that's us getting back there. We're getting back now. And we, all um, credit we, to Jared. We, cr- we criticise your defence a lot and we're, we're, we're tough on them. Uh, GFK, but when you look at actually, <coughs> right, you're right. I mean, I, I, I agree with, with, with Fox is saying it's easy to criticise, and, that, and I, I, I feel I've got a right to criticise, and I know Fox agrees with that, you know. But it was a fantastic team performance. But if you can imagine if Ryan Kent can get up to but we know the player that he is, and a couple others, then what a team we could be and we should be. And uh, even at 10 men, they, they never looked like scorn. You know, I know they had a couple of wee ha- silly half oh, chances, if you yeah, call that, but that's it, at Cairo. But, so they didn't even look like scorn. And we were very comfortable when, up to the 2 nothing and then beyond. So uh, it was a great team performance. But I'd like to obviously have seen Fred staying apart and then maybe another two or three goals in the back of the net. But onwards to the next game. Uh, that's another big game at the road. We'll see what happens come five o'clock once their game's done and if there's any advantage, good to us. If no, we just go to the next game. No, we're not expecting it. But as I said, if they get get something against uh, the puddle drinkers today, it's a bonus for us. But the show will be another fit come Wednesday because they play on Wednesday against the Hearts and then we don't play to the Friday. So it's going to be back and for it, you know, and... uh, 
let's hope that a wee favour can be done. But we've done everything that we could today, and, and that was to win the game, and we can't ask for any more. And we won it well. There was a couple of poor performances, if that's the right word for a couple of our players, but we won the game well, Ox, yeah. I think we've been joined by Albert, who will bring in, and then we'll be saying cheerio, Albert. How you doing, mate? I'm all right, mate. Make it brief. I just phoned in. I'm, I've got a real concern regarding Troy. I hope he's got access to a radio <laughs> station. This is Rangers Radio. <laughs> <laughs> His lids will be perked. Nice one. Nice one. I, I enjoyed the game, mate. We're two play, three points. Well done, guys. That's it. One in football. Don't give a toss about th- anything else. One in football. Yep, two nothing. Nice, new, comfortable win. Benchman, over to you, mate. Oh, what can I say? Oh, I'm so pleased we're team one. And by the way, it could have been as well. Mac put in for a five or a six now. It could have been that far away. Was he? Far I away? Wasn't he? Wasn't he? Wasn't that far away? So can I just say to all the Rangers fans all over the world, and particularly the Rangers fans out here on Rangers Radio, we're top of the league. We're top of the league. The Glasgow Rangers are top of the league. Everybody, keep it going about. for the Rangers. Keep it going. Thanks to everybody for calling. This has been Rangers Radio. We'll be back tomorrow night between 9 and 11. Talk about all things Rangers. And I'm sure we'll be debating Alfredo Morelos. Take it away, old school blue. Can I just say... Can I just say... A couple of shout-outs. A couple of shout-outs. Before we go, um, one for um, a special mention for um, Tam Duncan, who unfortunately passed away on Thursday. Uh, Tam was involved in the... Uh, Dundee loyal for over 40 years 40 years and obviously uh, heavily involved and uh, Tam will be so missed by all his friends and his family so and all the Rangers family so with condolences to everybody connected with Dundee loyal and also which also puts things into perspective uh, Blackpool True Blue who's sometimes in our lobby he's in he watched the game for the children's hospital the day when he's in with his two month old son who's just had open heart surgery no get a name for the kid, but I'll tell you what, all my thoughts and prayers with everybody here at Rangers Radio. Oh, here, 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 here. Little yeah, boy yeah. and all his family, and I hope he pulls through and we keep us updated and uh, hope he stays strong over the Christmas period. Thanks for all right. thinking about you. Take it away, old school boy. Thank you.